In this video, we have five integrals to evaluate. For the most part, these are basic integrals using specific formulas. And on these here, we have these formulas right here. So the first one states, if you have the integral of e to the u du, that's going to equal to e to the u plus your constant of integration. So if it's in this particular form, this is the answer you give. Now, I want to point out that if you have a constant, say some number k, 7, 8, whatever, in front of this, this can be factored out of the integral here. So that means the only difference in the answer is you'll have this k, whatever that number is multiplying the e to the u. Now, if this is an x here instead of a u, this will just be x. Now, what's going to happen is sometimes this u is going to be a function of x. So it could be something like 3x or 4x squared and so forth. So we'll handle those a little bit later on. If you have something like 1 over u du integral, that's going to be the natural log of the absolute value of whatever u is. Again, this could be a function of x, 7x, 3x, whatever. And again, if you have a constant, say, k here, instead of 1, this could be, say, 3 or 4. That's a k here. The only difference is the answer would have that constant here. The k would be here. Now, if you have the base is some other number, 7, 6, whatever, this a, a to the u, du, then here's your formula. It's 1 over the natural log of whatever the base is, in this case a, multiplied by the original expression, a to the u, plus your constant of integration. Again, if you have some constant here, because it can be factored out, the only difference in the answer is the, that number will multiply whatever this is. So I can put times k here. Or I can write it here. So those are the formulas we use. So let's look at the first one. We have the integral of e to the seventh, e to the seventh x dx. Now if this were u and this were u, we'd be in, in business here. So we're going to use a substitution here. And once you get the idea of this, you can take some shortcuts on these. So in other words, I want to write this as e to the u du. And if I have a constant, remember it doesn't really matter. It's still going to be the same. So for this one, then, this would be du, differential here, derivative of 7x is equal to 7. And then we write the dx here. And then make a substitution now. The integral, this becomes the integral of the 7x is replaced by u. And then here, you can divide through by 7. So that means the dx can be replaced by du over 7. I can write the 1 7th out here then this will be du. Just look at this part, that's the formula. Integral of e to the u du is always e to the u. So this will be e to the u. But what is u? Always got to go back to the original variable when you give the final answer. So instead of writing u, I'll just put the 7 here, 7x, and then the 1 7th, or I could put it over 7, like this, plus your constant of integration. And think about these types of problems, especially these basic ones. You can always check your answer easily. When it gets to a more complicated integral, sometimes the check could be longer than working out the problem. So here we use the uh, formula for the derivative of the exponential e, e to the u. So if you have anything e, as long as you're multiplying by constant, which we are, the derivative of this expression here, 1 over 7 e to the 7x, is same thing we have started off with 1 over 7 e to the 7x times the derivative of 7x where the derivative of 7x is 7 that comes out here that cancels out and it gives me the original that's your check on that one if this had been an 11x the only difference is this would be 11 and this would be 11. you could follow through the same procedure so on this one let's take a shortcut here the integral of 16, 8, the integral of 16 e to the 8x, it will be the same thing as e to the 8x. And the constant here, they see the derivative of 8x is 8. So that 8 divides, just like in this one over here, divides the constant 16. And then you have the constant of integration. 16 divided by 8 is 2. And then it's e to the 8x plus the constant of integration. Let's check it. 
the derivative of a constant is zero, cancels out. And the derivative of this expression right here is the same thing, except it multiplies by the, or it's multiplied by the derivative of the exponent. The derivative of 8x is 8, 8 times 2, x 16. That's your check for that one. Again, there's been a 9x here. The only difference is that would be a 9, and then the 16 would be divided by, by 9. 16 over 9. Now for number 3, now we don't have an exponential e. The base is 7. So let's double check the formula here. When you have the base here, instead of e, it's some other number like 7 here. This is your formula. It's 1 over the natural log of whatever the base is, multiplied by the same exponential, plus your constant of integration. So on this one then, this is going to equal 2. And to make it fit the formula, I'm going to let u, I'm going to let u equal to the exponent. Then du would equal to the derivative of that exponent 3x, which is 3, times the dx. So again, here, the dx then, if I divide through by 3 here, the dx can be replaced by du over 3, or 1 third times du. So let's write it this way. I write the one third in front, and this will be seven. Three x is u, and then it's du here. Dx replaced by du over three. Here in this form. Now we can apply the formula. Remember, this is just a constant. So here's your formula, and then whatever we get, we multiply by one third. So I put the one third out in front. The integral of this, then, based on the formula, is just going to be. The exponential, 7 to the u, but let's go back to the original variable. The u is 3x, so this will be 3x, and that's, and that's going to be over natural log of the base. So I'm going to put it here. This will be ln of 7, and then it's going to be plus the constant of integration. Now let's check this one. The derivative of a constant c is 0, so I got that gets wiped out, so I want to come up with this right here. When I take, take the derivative. Remember, this is all constant right here. So the derivative of the exponential 7 to the 3x, your formula for that one, I didn't give it here, that's how the, that comes to the section for derivatives, is simply the exponential. So the derivative of this is just 7 to the 3x times the derivative of the exponent, which is 3. Okay, multiply by 3, that cancels the 3 here and then multiply by the natural log of the base, which is ln of 7, which cancels that and just gives me this. So again, if I take the derivative of 7 to the 3x, the formula tells me that that's going to be exponential 7 to the 3x times the derivative of the exponent, that's 3, multiplied by the natural log of the base. And that's what I have here. So this part is going to get cancel and I get the exponential, 7 to the 3x. And you look at this one here, you got this expression here over e to the 4x. It looks complicated, but it's just basically three problems like number one or number two, if you simplify it. So what I'm going to do here is let's just divide each of the terms in the numerator by e to the 4x. So I'm going to have, say, e to the 6x over e to the 4x, e to the 6x over e to the 4x. And then you bring this to the top, it becomes uh, e to the negative 4x, so we just rewrite it as at the x1 is e to the 2x. And then it's minus, this goes to the top, because I'm dividing, so it'll be e to the minus 4x, so this will be minus 3 minus 4x and the 5x is x. So this just gives me minus 3 e to the x. Okay, and the next one I have this over this. So this will give me a plus. Get a 7 here. And then this goes up to the top. Becomes e to the minus 4x. So add, up, add the 2x to the minus 4x is minus 2x here. This is now two problems 
or actually three problems, because because I can I can break this down into three problems. So if you have the integral of u the two x dx, integral of minus three u the x dx, the integral of seven u the minus two x dx. So these are just like problems one and two. So what did we do there? We just said okay. I could let u equal, we'll get three separate problems and let u equal to 2x and work just like number one, e equal to x, or u equal to x, work like number one or two, and this one u equal to minus 2x. But now we know what the shortcut is, it's just this, e to the 2x, divided by or over the derivative of 2x, which is 2, minus 3 e to the x, this would be the second problem then, part 2 here, but the derivative of x is 1, so if I divide this by 1, it gives me the same thing. So this just comes out to minus 3 e to the x, and the next one then is going to be e to the minus 2x, and that's divided by the derivative of minus 2x is a minus 2, so this just be minus 7 over 2, and this would be plus the constant of integration. So the final answer then is e to the 2x over 2. You can write it as e to the 2x times the 1 half minus 3 e to the x. Got minus 7 halves e to the minus 2x. And that's your answer. And again, you can check the derivative, say going from here to this, instead of going to the original one here. And you should get those same three terms. Now on the last one, we're going to use this formula right here, if I have anything in the form integral of 1 over u du, that's equal to natural log of absolute u plus c. Again, if I have a k or a constant, that just multiplies whatever answer I have here. So let's look at this. Notice, when you're looking at more complicated problems, always look at your denominator if the derivative of the denominator gives you what's in the numerator, you can use a regular use a u substitution. Notice the derivative of 5e to the x is 5e to the x. The derivative of 7x is 7. So if I let if I let u equal to 5e to the x plus 7x, then du will equal to the derivative of this. So this would be 5e to the x because it's a uh, coefficient here is 1. That just takes 5e to the x. The derivative of 7x is 7. That's pretty like this. And then this would be dx. Now I, have to, I want to rewrite this so it looks like the formula we just reviewed there. So notice, in this case, what I'll do is, okay, this part right here, 5 e to the x plus 7 dx, that's exactly what I have right there. So everything here, this part here along with the dx can be replaced by du. So I'm just going to put du here. And the denominator, 5 e to the x plus 7x, that's u. So this is u. That's the exact formula we just looked at. And the answer to this came out to the natural log of absolute u plus the constant of integration. Now notice if this had been a 10 and this had been a 14, I could have factored a 2 and bring, just bring it, that factor would just multiply the answer. But in this case, it, it fits exactly the way I want it. So now we just go back to the original variable and say, okay, this is going to be ln of absolute. I always go back to the original variable. And what is u? u is 5 e to the x plus 7x plus your constant of integration. And that's your answer. And again, you can always check your final answer by computing the derivative of that and see if it gives you the integrand here. Now, if you're taking a test and so forth, like I said, sometimes the check might be take a little bit longer than usual. You're not going to have time to check. But if you have a homework assignment where you have time to check, you can go ahead and check these. So taking the derivative of this, I'm supposed to get this. 
So what's the derivative of the natural log? Obviously, the derivative of a constant is zero, so we're just focusing on this part right here. So the derivative of ln of some expression is just going to be whatever this expression in the absolute value is. So this will be 5 e to the x plus 7x. And in the numerator, I'm going to have the derivative of whatever that expression is. Well, the derivative of 5 e to the x is 5 e to the x. The derivative of 7x is 7, so I come out with 5 e to the x plus 7 over 5 e to the x plus 7x. That checks out. That's your solution. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.